Hey everybody, this is Tom with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Also, I think this is the third one. Third installment coming to you from Gulf Shores. We're down on the beach this week. Uh, actually, I'll be back in Huntsville Friday, but down on the beach this week. And today I want to talk to you about, are you too busy to have fun? More on that right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. If you would do me a favor, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, go ahead and leave a comment. And as I said yesterday, it doesn't matter where you are watching or listening, go ahead and leave a comment there. I will do my dead level best to reply to each and every one of your comments. Um, yeah, so there, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just stop there. You know, yesterday we talked about having fun, especially in the context of work. Today I want to talk to you about a different kind of fun and a word that we use very often to describe, uh, how things are going. You ever uh, talk to somebody and say, hey, I mean, he, you know, you see him in a networking group or just run into him in town somewhere and say, hey man, how are you doing? Oh, we're, we're, we're busy. I hear that a lot. I'm even guilty of saying it myself, but but in reality, that's a terrible measure of success. Number one, being busy in and of itself doesn't mean anything. The hamster running in the wheel is really busy. He's not going anywhere. So I, I, I want you to think about, especially, you know, as you know, I can look out through the window here, <clears throat> I can see the beach out in front of me. Um, and yet here I am working, and as I mentioned to uh, some of our friends yesterday, I'm working now so I can play later, right? Are you too busy to have fun? Yesterday we talked about having fun. Today we're talking about being busy. Do you, do you believe that you're too busy to have fun? I mean, I, if, if you do, I've got words for you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to relax a little bit. Look, here's, here's the reality, right? You're never too busy to have fun because uh, fun, as we talked about yesterday, you can build fun into building the business. But the other thing to bear in mind is that you need to prioritize some downtime. If you don't have time to relax, you don't have time to take a few days away, you don't have time to have fun, then your priorities are out of whack. Why are you building the business? Now, just as I said a few minutes ago, I'm working now so I can play later. I'm working now for a few minutes, half an hour in the morning, so I have the majority of the day later. Will I take a phone call or two throughout the day? Absolutely. My one-on-one -on -one coaching clients know they have 24-7 access. That's one of the things that you get when you come on board with me. And if they call me or text me, I'm going to answer them. It, it, to the best of my ability, I'm going to give them a call. I'm going to answer the call, call them right back, give them the text, give them the info, the help, the support, and the encouragement that they need. That's what I'm here for, and that's what they're paying for. Now, does that mean I can't take the rest of the day? No. And one of the things that, that just is really interesting to me, and I understand that there are some constraints. I'll try and get into this also. But when I see posts on Facebook, Instagram, message boards, wherever, where it's someone I know to be an entrepreneur or a business owner talking about, hey, we made it through the week. It's time for another weekend. Thank God. I really don't understand that. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get that. Now, if you have a business where you deliver services Monday through Friday, and because of your customer base, the market that you're working in, you really need to focus in, in a window like that. I, I, okay, I get that. But ultimately, you have complete control over your schedule. 
I mean, you do. And anybody, if, if you don't believe that, send me a message. Send me a direct message. Leave me a comment. I'll show you in three sentences or less. I can prove it to you. You have complete control over your time. Right? So to feel as though you are constrained as a business owner or entrepreneur, feel as though you are constrained to working eight to five or seven to six or whatever the hours are, Monday through Friday, is just unreasonable. I tell people all the time, I work every day of the week. I don't work hours and hours and hours every day of the week, right? Sometimes on Saturday, I might work 12 or 14 hours. On a Monday, I might work two or three hours, right? It, it depends. I am in control of my time. Now, here's why this is important, and this is why I'm hammering on this. If you don't have this level of freedom, if you don't have this level of flexibility, then structurally something is, is amiss with your business. And I want to help you with that. Because it is not the end destination that we are all racing toward. It is the journey from here to the end destination that we have to enjoy. If you think that you can build something, even if it's a you know, multi-million dollar business, which I've had, I've built two now. It just It's just the scale of the problems are different. That's all, right? If, but if you feel like that's some finish line that when you cross, it, you know, things are going to change, no. Just the scale of the problem changes. So what you have to learn how to do is get your, your mind wrapped around the idea, create the mindset that I can enjoy the journey along the way. Maybe you can, maybe you can build the business you need to have the life and lifestyle you want and only work three days a week. Maybe it, it takes seven days a week, but you can take big blocks out of the middle of the day to go have lunch with the kids at school, right? Real freedom, real wealth is measured in time, not in dollars. I want you to think about that for the rest of the day today, right? And if you, again, if you disagree with that, leave me a comment. I can prove that to you in a couple of sentences as well. Real wealth is measured in time, not in dollars. So in this all-consuming, all-encompassing race for success, remember how you measure your success. So freedom of time. Right? How free are you to use your time? All right? That's it for today. That's what I want you to think about and uh, mull on today. Real wealth is measured in time. How free are you? to have control of your time. Um, if you are an entrepreneur, ultimately you have unlimited control. You just have to prioritize correctly. Mm, man, that could be a whole nother show. Maybe you should stay tuned for a few minutes after the outro. I'll talk about that for a little bit. Otherwise, you guys have a fantastic day for the rest of the day today. I'll be back again in the morning with another brand new installment, a Thursday installment, all again from the beach of seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care. I'll talk to you then. Okay, so I'm back. I said I would come back and talk about uh, prioritization. Just want to make sure I wasn't stepping on tomorrow's topic. So, it, when I say it's a matter of prioritization, one of the biggest obstacles that we face when we talk about prioritization is having too many. Priority, the word priority comes from Latin and it means, it, it comes from the a combination of the words priordinal meaning before the list, right? You, you can only have one. The English language, there was, no, there was not a plural form of the word priority for over 400 years after it in, entered the language. It wasn't until the dawn of the Industrial Revolution where some smart industrial engineer said, hey, we can have more than one of these, and thus the project management industry was born, right? So one of the things that I teach my clients when we are working together is that you can only have one priority per time period. You can have one for the year, you can have one for the quarter, one for the week, one for the day, one for the morning, one for the afternoon, whatever period you're planning, only one. 
and that's it. You can really only have one. And here I'm going to give you this link. Let me move that up a little bit so you can see it. Go right there, check that out. TomRigsby.com slash P4F. That's the whole my whole explanation on time management, a to-do list of no more than five things, and how to pick your one priority. All right, that's really it for today. You guys take care.